KMOV. This is News 4 at 6. Breaking the developments tonight, family members are blaming their loved one's death on Rams owner Stan Kroenke. This all stems from a months-long News 4 investigation into Kroenke buying up a massive ranch in a small town in Texas. Kroenke plans to evict all of the people who live there. News 4 investigates Chris Nagus traveled to that ranch to speak with many of the residents who are losing the place they've called home for decades. A desolate stretch of Texas highway with nothing on either side stretches to the front gates of a remote lakeside community. The front gate is lined with the mailboxes of homeowners who will soon be moving, but not by choice. It's like diversion, a million dollar view. Lynn Postalweight has enjoyed this view since 1967. He owns his modest home, but he rents the land it sits on. He pays $1,500 a year. The new landlord is Stan Kroenke, and it's not sitting well with the neighbors. Well, I hope he enjoys his money when he goes to hell. To understand Postalweight's strong reaction, you need to understand the circumstances. These homes sit on the shores of Lake Diversion, just one small corner of the massive W.T. Wagner Ranch that covers more than 500,000 acres of vast open terrain. List price? Seven hundred and twenty-five million. Cronky bought it in February, and now his lawyers are telling longtime residents their leases won't be renewed. Pulling everything down, which means it's time to pack up. Don't have no place to take you right now. And get out. How much is Stan Cronky offering you for your house? Nothing. Get it out. Go. You you're trespassing after January the thirty-first. So how much is he offering for moving expenses? Nothing. And then it proceeds, dear tenant. Down another dirt road. The lease will not be renewed. Former St. Louis area resident Paul Apple received the same upsetting legal letter. And if we try to make access, um, we'll be trespassing. Apple, a veteran, lives on disability. I think he's a, a greedy SOB. He admits his home isn't pretty, but it's all he has. He and others are hoping a GoFundMe page can help with moving expenses since the billionaire who bought the land underneath him isn't chipping in. I think he is so wealthy that he is so far removed from normal people that uh, he has no concept, I don't think, of of the harm that he's done here. Well, no, I take that back. I think he knows the harm he's done out here. I just think he doesn't care. What does Stan Kroenke plan to do with this place? Well, residents out here say they aren't sure. But one thing is certain. They have to be out of here by the end of January, and whatever they don't take will be bulldozed, including their homes. To get answers, I took Apple's letter on a road trip 30 miles away. Cronkey's attorneys operate from this office in Wichita Falls, Texas. The receptionist told me nobody was interested in doing an interview. Back on the ranch, Apple is so angry, he plans to trash the place before he goes. I'm going to shoot out the windows. I'm going to do every bit of damage I can. But others, like Postal Weight, say starting over won't be cheap. He plans to strip the tin off the roof and windows from their frames to build a new house a few miles away. At 76, fighting a billionaire was never on his agenda. We're playing to retire right here. Neither was losing his tiny, out-of-the-way corner in Texas. Is it going to be strange not waking up to this? Oh, yeah. I'm sure it will be. And today we found out some shocking news tied to all of this. A woman named Annette McNeil Ellis, who lives at Lake Diversion, told me her husband, Rick Ellis, committed suicide over this ordeal. We talked just a couple of hours ago. She says his body was found yesterday on a remote road where they used to fish. She read us part of his suicide note, which makes it clear he was distraught over the loss of their home on Lake Diversion. The very first line of his suicide note, Stan stole my home. Kind of made me feel like Stan Kroenke was Satan himself, to be honest with you. This is an evil, evil man. And Steve and Claire, we reached out to Cronkies attorneys in Texas. There was no comment. We've also reached out to the Los Angeles Rams. 
nothing from them so far. Right, so Kroenke is within his legal rights to do what he's doing, but one question some of our viewers are asking, Chris, is why would anybody buy a house on land that they don't own? That's a good question. People have been asking that on our social media page on Facebook. You know, these leases have been intact for decades. This, this ranch was owned by the Wagner family for over a century. They say in North Texas, a handshake means something. This is a gentleman's agreement. This lease agreement, according to these owners, was never in jeopardy, but clearly circumstances have changed. And when you talked with the man's widow earlier on the phone this afternoon, what else did she have to say about the situation? She is concerned about other residents at Lake Diversion. She says, you know, her husband was pushed to the edge. That's the way she described it. She worries that could happen to other homeowners out there as this deadline approaches. And I'll tell you what, she has a very powerful statement she wants to Stan Kroenke himself to hear, and you're going to hear it for yourself tonight on News 4 at 10 o'clock. All right, Chris, thanks for shedding some light on the situation. Well, there is a way for you to help some of those people who are affected. For more information, you can go to KMOV.com or head to our KMOV Facebook page.